Zinedine Zidane cursed Italy. How? The story starts back in 2004. After the Euro, the French midfield magician surprisingly announced his retirement from the national team. But when one year later, France was struggling to qualify for the 2006 World Cup in Germany without Zidane, the man said, all right, one last dance. He instantly became captain again and surprisingly carried France all the way to the final, where they would face Italy. Zidane himself put Le Bleu 1-0 up in the first half, but Marco Materazzi soon equalized for the Azzurri. And it was these two who met again in extra time. Materazzi, not necessarily known as a gentleman of the football world, kept trash-talking about Zidane's sister until eventually the captain lost his temper and he gave him the infamous headbutt. He got a red card and Italy would win the World Cup on penalties. But this beautiful triumph would only come with a huge price tag. At the World Cup 2010, Italy as reigning champions finished last in their group. In 2014, they were knocked out once again as third. And it got even worse because Italy, who had played every single World Cup since 1962, would fail to qualify for 2018 and 2022 back to back. The 2006 final with Zidane's headbutt remains Italy's last knockout game at a World Cup up to this day. And this is why many people say 